Also, I thought you guys liked my shirt. This is this is indeed the BattleBot shirt that was sent to me in last week's viewer mail. And it just so happens, uh, it's a good segue. Uh, this is, of course, the, the vintage BattleBots logo with the Robot Wars house robots. If you're looking at this shirt and you're a fan of robot combat, you probably do not like it. Or maybe you do like it because you get the joke. I don't know. But mentioning that this was uh, the shirt from last week's viewer mail is a great segue into this week's game. Which, of course, is Savage Skies for the PlayStation 2. This is a game that also showed up in last week's viewer mail. This one comes to us from Fandramon. She sent me this game uh, for my birthday. It's a game where you can ride on a dragon. And now let me define that further and let all of you down. It's basically like Star Fox, I think, if you were just a dragon instead of a R-Wing. That's about what we're dealing with here. Uh, last week when I opened up this game, I told a little anecdotal story of... Uh, I had a buddy when I was in high school who uh, loved this game. And he let me borrow it. He played it all the time until he finally got tired of it. And then he let me borrow it. And I never played it. Because I just never got around to it. Because I don't know what... I don't know what the hell I was doing at the time that was apparently more important than playing a game with dragons in it. Maybe I was t too busy watching movies with dragons in them and then writing stories for people to jerk off to. I, I don't know. My priorities were kind of fucked up back then. So I don't really know a whole lot about this game, which is weird because I had a buddy who played it all the time. Uh, so we're going to hop on over to uh, Gatorbox Classic. We're going to check this game out. And we'll see how it goes. You know, if this is a game that seems like it won't take too long to beat maybe we'll bring it back next week if not i have some stuff planned for next week that would work just fine so i tell you what let's is wait is it rated m holy shit it is do you get to fuck the dragon no it says blood and gore and violence so really it's like t it's <laughs> i mean <laughs> 2001 2001's m is just today's e10 let's just let's be honest about that all right gator box classic time that fucking... That red... <laughs> There's my YouTube thumbnail, I guess. <laughs> what is... Like, for real, what is that fucking... That is ugly. I don't want to fuck any of this. None of, none of this looks like anything I would want to stick my penis anywhere near. You let me down, Fandramon. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna complete the, uh, uh, training course. And I guess I'll do flight training. Flight and combat. That's a really hairy looking loading screen right there. That looks pretty jank. Welcome to the training grounds. Here you will master the art of controlling a flying creature and using it in battle against your foes. <laughs> Is it really necessary Before to be playing this music? Aerial combat, you must first learn to control your creature. We'll begin with walking, takeoff, gliding, and then landing. Let's get, a, let's get a good look at what we're riding on here. I think I can see through part of its head. Did it Did it not load its eyes? Am, am, no. Okay. Yeah, there's something weird with the uh, with its Press left the eye. To make your creature walk I guess forward. I'm going to call this one uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez after the late TLC member. Okay, well, that's a weird-looking dragon. Actually, technically, this would be a weaver, not a dragon. Uh, the difference, of course, being that a weaver's arms and wings are the same appendage, whereas a dragon has a set of forearms, hind legs, and, and wings. All right, well, let's just... Oh, wait. What am I... What? Can I... Okay, hang on. Can I... Turn the camera to see what the hell that's about. Okay, he's not walking, but we're moving, so sure. I feel like Weaver and Wyvern is one of those words that doesn't matter how you pronounce it, someone's gonna tell you that you're saying it wrong. Okay? Let's just fly this stupid airborne. dragon. Maneuver in flight, use the left end log. Look at these American gladiators signs. Follow the arrow in the upper right it's like, the Okay. Slow down, hold the square button. This makes your creature flat backwards. To land, double tap the square button <laughs> and release. And dragons the moon. Pressing or holding X or square afterwards. We're gonna hit it. Cancel to land. Fly to the landing platform indicated by the navigational arrow. To stop for a landing, 
fly low. This guy tap. seems really impatient with me not landing. Will then stop uh, and land. I guess we land. Uh, I can kind of hear the voice. I just gotta land uh, here. Excellent. The music is giving me the implication that I should be like creating a wrestler right now. Do I not go here? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's like we're playing like WWF SmackDown or something instead of like a game with dragons in it. You're making good time. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm making good time, huh? You're at the end. Now for a greater challenge. You must land on the raised platform. Remember, double tap and release the square button when you're. This dude's still telling me how to land. I already did it. Outstanding. Your skills are growing already. Try the R2. Program. I'm trying. That is really hard to hit. Can I just fly over there? And, okay. Press the R2 button. You just triggered your creature's secondary attack. Well done. Now. Is this game being narrated by like Ben Stein? I tried to shoot that. Apparently, R1 only works is is a is a sometimes button. Vanquish all foes in the arena. Vanquish. Why am I like in the floor though? Like, can I? Can we not fight back or avoid your attacks? So they should be easily destroyed. Okay, so now we're playing Quidditch. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh no. You know, when we're hitting stationary targets, this is uh, this game's kind of fine, but uh, this, I don't like this. You'd love to see me play the Quidditch game. I know nothing about Harry Potter. It'd be even funnier because I wouldn't know what the hell's going on. I'd just be like, I pick Slytherin. Like, Draco, those, that's the bad guys. I'd say, hey, they got a snake as their icon, so guess what? I pick Slytherin. I don't, I don't like this. I, I feel like, am I missing something? Can I hit him? Okay, I got him. <laughs> the game, like, just for a second. Also, yeah, I, my buddy played this game all the time. I do not know what he saw in it. Health power-ups heal your mount. I will say it looked a lot cooler when I was younger. Four times. Damage amplification increases your firepower. Is this just like one of the developers using like placeholder voiceover dialogue? More enemies are here. They will fight back, but not aggressively. Destroy them all. <laughs> they will fight back, but not aggressively. It's a simple trick, but it can get you to the top. You make quick work of them. Yeah, I made quick work of him this time because I figured out that trying to use a regular attack is bullshit. It's <laughs> this really shitty, like, like, 90s grunge. In the days of old. Oh, fuck off. This is the same voice. Society on the cutting edge of alchemy. <laughs> the king, held in high esteem by his people, was a valiant warrior and well-respected throughout the land. He had a well-honed sense of justice, and was a good man at heart. The king supported the development this of This voice sounds like a 12-year-old trying to sound like a 30-year-old. All of these characters suffer from a, a terminal bout of, like, twisted metal syndrome. They look like the animated models from that game. Is this Shrek? What are they? F Did someone open the ark? It's like an episode of Reboot. Does anybody else know what the fuck is happening? The 
Uh, they couldn't animate these parts. They ran out of budget. They blew their budget on what we just saw. Oh my god, shut up! The conflicts would soon be legendary. The time has come for war. The time has come for courage. The time has come for bloodshed. The time of savage skies. Thank you. <laughs> and so John Freeman ran to where the next boss was to find Gordon Freeman and save him from the evil boss that was there. So we're just going to start with uh, the mission called Start Campaign. That's what we're going to what we're gonna go with. Your first mission has we, we just, we just come on, man. We got a Star Wars King scroll for this Lord now. Has declared that we shall set aside our differences with the Christmas in order to protect our people from the greater threat of the pariah. Our diplomats are now returning from a peace conference. Soon we shall be allied with the Chrysalis, something the pariah are wise to fear. We must protect the caravan at all costs. Protect the caravan at, our, at all costs. Okay. That's, you could have just gone straight to that. You know, I, they're, they're going to... They're going to try to transport that caravan. There's going to be a big wall when they get there. They're going to be turned away at the border. There's a process, okay? You can't just take a whole caravan of people and storm a border. That's an invading force. Okay? There's a, <laughs> there's a process. <laughs> <laughs> Allow no secondary objective. Allow no airships to be destroyed. Okay. Use rocks quickness and maneuverability. This isn't even a. This is a fucking bird. You, you piece of you. Oh, you're about to see something get savage here. You motherfuckers. I want to ride a goddamn dragon. I don't want to. I don't want to defend goddamn Mario Three flying airship boats with a fucking bird. I can't get off to this. You expect me to jerk off? What kind of an attack is this shit? Clear the caravan's path. There's a green thing around here somewhere. If you get motion sickness easily, I apologize. I'm not trying to make you sick. I mean, this game's gonna make me throw up regardless of, you know, how fast it's moving. Does this, does this shitty attack like arc or something? The Pariah have unleashed Gormags. The caravan is all but defenseless against them. They've unleashed Gormags? Well, man, if only there was a 20 minute cutscene to inform me what a fucking Gormag was. This music literally sounds like the type of shit that they used to play in like BattleBots back in the day when they had a. Uh, when they had like a couple of crappy wedges fighting each other. Because they would do that. They would they would pick music intentionally that was like livelier than you know, if they if they were gonna have a problem with like perceived entertainment. You have a couple of wedges fighting each other. You got you got to play some like some fast paced music so that the crowd thinks there's something interesting happening. Especially if it's if it's two wedges from teams that know fuck all about driving. Oh. The secret objective was to kill all the pariah enemies, so we just managed- that's a hat trick! Three in a row! How about that? Oh cool, we have two player map unlocked too. Hey, you wanna play this game with me, Ness? You wanna play this? What do you know about this? Come on. You hold on to this one. Let me get the other controller out. King is well pleased with your recent defeat of Mortalvis' minions in the River Canyons. Just, just don't. With the safe just return don't. of our diplomats, the alliance with the Chrysalis has been sealed. Eliminate all the pariah sail barges. Do not let any of the stolen remains reach their volcanic lair. The charging ability of Yoma. Was this fucking flying cheetah now? What the hell? It come on, man. Or he can sink Way to bait and switch someone. You give him a dragon in the tutorial. Those bones will not be rising up to join Mortalvis' army of the undead. The giant, the giant fucking flying thing has been spotted. I, was this supposed to be a stealth mission and I just failed immediately? It's like, we have been spotted. 
Like, you know, I really don't know how a giant flying fucking leopard or whatever the hell that I'm riding on was supposed to get through undetected anyways. Kind of feel like you kind of set me up for failure there, so if you got a problem with it, why don't you take it up with yourself, you piece of shit? So, if these are sacred relics that are, like, on these vessels, why the fuck am I just, like, shooting them down and we're not trying to, like, recover them or, you know, like, save them? We're just, we're content, you know, they're, they're priceless. Good. They're priceless the relics, but, you know, eh, fuck it. To be dead with. This one, too, must be stopped. Whatever Mortelvis and the Pariah were planning, they will regret the day they crossed your path. I won, but I didn't win. Uh, I gotta say, um, I kind of don't care that I failed the other two mission objectives. Suddenly, and for some inexplicable reason, I've just been overcome with complete and total apathy. And I'm still salty that they gave me a dragon in the tutorial and then now we've had two things that are not dragons that I do not like at all. The logo for this game is a dragon and the back of this box says, do you have what it takes to control an 80 foot dragon without becoming lunch? Buddy, I have what it takes to make an 80 foot dragon come, okay? But you're not giving me the fucking opportunity to do that. Breach the refinery's defenses and destroy the central collector. I guess that'll make sense when we start the level. Drive. Is it a dragon? Holy so shit! With a volley of gold it only took three levels. And then switch to the gilded breath to coat them in flame. These bad guys. It's all too easy to become lost in the swamp. Find your way to the refinery in the southeast. Maybe they might be attacking me. I, I can't. Uh, those are those are the enemies. Hey, going going back to uh, verbally shit posting on Twitch though. Real talk, are you not allowed to say the word "come" on Twitch? <laughs> I mean, because that sounds completely plausible. Because I know uh, I know people get their panties in a bunch of the, over the, the most retarded things. I'd like to keep my channel on the up and up. So, can I say jizz? Can I say that? Can I say finish? Can I say, uh, bring to an agreeable, comfortable state that involves the emission of semen? Can I say that? We gotta close the oblivion gates, hang on. That's it. Now take out the rest of those pumping stations. Oh my god, I am getting, I'm getting whammied over- Stop hitting me! Find help, quickly. Gator box is just good brainless fun. You want to you want to tune into when you don't want to you don't want to deal with the bullshit of the world. You come watch Gator Box. You come watch a, a guy in his fucking thirties talk about playing a game with with these stupid dragons in it. I'm sorry, dragons with an asterisk and things that are not dragons. And he just kind of casually jokes about how he wants to fuck everything in the game. Now the central collector is Okay, so now we gotta we gotta do the wombo combo on the big the big boy. Time is running out. Well, that's okay. Uh, uh, okay, we got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, done it. we got him. Oh, okay, yeah, right there. Secret objective: find the hidden crystal shard to reveal the to re find the hidden crystal shard to reveal the secret objective. The secret objective is secret. But okay, I guess that makes sense. I guess if I guess Green Bean was onto something. If you okay, so wait, I guess that means in the first level that we, because we didn't get the crystal, so we completed the secret objective completely on accident without having found the crystal. Discuss what you've uncovered of recent variety. Oh, don't tell me I gotta ride a stupid Pegasus next. To watch for that doesn't sound fun at all. Mariah. Glory trail what kind of attacks does a flying team. horse have? Which button is it? There we go. <laughs> it's just a generic horse sound effect when he gets hit. Oh my god. It's, it's, oh. 
This game is everything I've ever wanted, and by that I mean the complete opposite. A group of chrysalis flyers has already escaped. I feel like I'm actually destroying the bridge by trying to hit this guy. Those who are fleeing, we need you here. Is this an enemy? It's not letting. It's not targeting. Okay, well, fuck it. If it's not an enemy. It's dead now. I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not really too excited about the horse part of this game. I was really kind of more hoping. You know, I don't really. The word savage doesn't come to mind when I think of like Pegasus. Wait, this is the only game that BAM made? I swear to god I've seen their dumb logo on like other crap. This is this is it though? I mean, I, I completely believe it. it. This seems like the type of game that like would kill a company. This, this you know, the, the misguided, crappy action game. We've never made a game before, so let's make a 3D open world, fly around as a dragon, fight things game. How hard could that be? Okay, oh, we got. Oh, IROC Interactive. Okay, Bam, Bam published more games, but IROC. This was their. Yeah, I, I kind of get the developer publisher mixed up sometimes on the stream. But yeah, no, I can definitely see this being the only game that somebody made. That dot does not mean he's directly in front of me, because the, this guy that I'm looking for is not right here. Is he? What the hell is this shit? This can't be good. Everything's, everything's blinking. Oh, hell no! I'm hurt! We ain't playing this level twice. I'm gonna retreat and find something to heal me. We have received terrible news. <laughs> We've received terrible news. We've diversion. we've cut the budget to the our game. Have kidnapped the prince, an ice dragon from this northern region. Oh, hey, it's this guy Go. again. Okay, well I know I know this guy has an R2 move that just just destroys. Okay, well it's that that guy's got that move. Uh, is there like a cave to fly? Oh, this isn't. Can I fly in here? There's how is how is there a cannon? Okay, so somewhere in here is, is a prince, and we gotta save him before the before they take his brain out or whatever they're gonna do. We gotta we gotta get the prince. They've captured the prince, and they're gonna force him to perform Raspberry Beret until the end of time. It's not a maze; it's a labyrinth. Oh, right, there was a level that was like labyrinth or something, right? I remember we scrolled through the list of levels at the beginning of the stream, and I've already forgotten them, so... <laughs> this, what, is, what is this? These steps. That's nothing? Okay, that... It looked like... like a shrine. It looked like a good place to hide a prince. Is, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Prince cannot resist the Christmas much longer. Well, I'm going as fast as I can, narrator. Maybe the prince ought to think about think twice about letting himself get kidnapped next time, okay? I can't it just just hit this Oh shit, my wing came off. That's a problem. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I failed every objective, huh? No shit. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I keep trying to read you. Like, the conversations that you guys are having in chat are far more interesting than this this bad dragon game. Oh no. It's... I'm sorry, this game is not as good as the phrase bad dragon game implies. What I meant to say is, this video game that involves dragons that's not very good. If there was a bad dragon video game, what would it be? That's a, that's a good question. Speed is crucial. Kids cannot resist a chrysalis much longer. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right, it does it does sound like he says the prince can't resist Christmas. Much longer, is he is he threatening to opening up his, his his presents early? I mean, he's a prince. Let him do it. Who cares? He's royalty. I think he has permission to open up his presents early. Fuck. I mean, if, if he's if he's royalty, he can he can determine he can he can declare Christmas over, forever. So, fuck him. Let him open up his Legos. I. Uh. 
I've waited for this moment, Star Fox. <laughs> you know it is I who controls the galaxy. What's the point in that? What's it? Is it is that a is that a big what is that a butt? Excellent. But they'll try Okay, to I, I, I got him. Okay, we'll go we'll go faster. No! You you piece of shit! Okay, we gotta go through here. We gotta go through here. Quickly. We must we must go faster. I need help. Uh, big time. Oh, okay, good. Look at that. Speak of the devil. Are these are these good ships or bad ships? I can't I can't tell. Okay, I can't kill them, so they're probably good ships. Okay, yeah, they were good ships. Oh, we got them. We got them. Excellent. The enemy will have to try harder than that the next time. While you were away on the rescue mission. Yeah, while I was away on the rescue mission. You make it sound like a, a, a vacation, you fucking the asshole. Tower is their target. You must I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to fly on the big owl. The I, I don't. Or is that, is, I think technically we Draco, the term is hippogriff. That's another protect mission. Great. Okay, so it looks like R2 is a dedicated hoot button. Uh... So that's effectively useless. At least we got like the triple nipple attack, okay? At least we got we got a good attack for R1. Just I can just I can just pelt them with comes all this all these red ones. So in that previous stage where I was like looking at the radar wondering where the hell everything was, I was looking at not the targets, I was looking at people on my own side. Much more. I wish I could see where I am relative to what uh, the crap on the map. Because apparently that thing at the beginning of the, the row has just been taking damage like crazy, and I didn't even notice that. Because I was relying on the radar to tell me where the threats were. I don't know where I am. I, there, I, it would be nice. If, oh, that hit me. Okay, well, it's, it's glowing. Thought it, I thought it was an item. Who's attacking me? Is it? Are, are these the enemies? The wizard's tower must be defended. Oh, the wizard's tower's fine. Quit freaking out about it, you idiots. It's still standing. Looks good to me. Hasn't taken any damage whatsoever. This is as great as the day it was built. Is it? Is this the door that's taking the damage? It's really just this one right here? Because it looks like there's a tower and there's two doors on the map. So all these guys running through town, you know, that aren't doing, they're doing fuck all. They're worried about this? Oh, you just said I did well, though. I mean, you kind of, you kind of fucked me, game. I was really afraid that was gonna happen. Son of a bitch. Sometimes these balloons will attack me, and sometimes they don't. Depends on the level. <laughs> these are very circumstantial balloons. Consequently, the phrase "circumstantial balloon" also sounds like a, like an automatically generated AOL screen name. <laughs> You bet the game was supposed to be about dragons originally, but then all the owl lovers took to social media and started complaining about the lack of representation. Man, fuck owls! If that makes me racist, then I might as well get my KKK hood out. Fuck owls! Owls ain't done shit for me! All they do is stare at you and they turn their whole head around to look. It's weird. I don't like it. More unholy reinforcements have arrived. That's what my mom used to say whenever people would show up for my birthday party. <laughs> uh, I think something blew and hit the side of the house. Hard. Because uh, I heard that. I live on the second floor though, so that was very strange. 
Are the Vandermont? Are the owls outside my house? Oh shit! They <laughs> they came. They heard me talking shit. I ain't afraid of no owls. I'll fight you. I'll get some hot air balloons to shoot you down like in this game. Okay, we got it. Good. I was gonna say that seemed like it was the end. I'm riding the owl from nights. Go forth. Destroy Calvin's collective once and I don't like the way that hive looks. It looks weird. If you got tryptophobia, don't you won't like this stage. Destroy the anchors that hold down the hive, then attack its heart to the in in Calvin and the Chrysalis once and for all. Eliminate both the Chrysalis attack ships. Okay, so maybe this is the, the final stage. Yeah, it's kind of a dumb looking dragon, but I'll I'll take what I can get. Whoa, we're shooting the big balls out. Okay. Cranking up the big balls. Strong vines anchor the hive. To break it loose and expose its vulnerability, you must destroy the four anchors at the top of the structure. Top of the structure. Oh, okay, I see. I was gonna say, tell me what to attack. I'm flying. I'm getting awfully fucking close to it. With those anchors removed, the hive will be vulnerable. The hatches are open. Three more. Fox, that's one of ours. I really like that phrase from Star Fox 64. If you if you end the life of a, of a pilot on your side, fucking Bill just goes, "Fox, that's one of ours!" Like, oh, oh, one more. Oh, Fox McCloud, you fucking maverick, just shooting down innocent fucking fighter pilots. You you crazy son of a bitch. The hive's weak. Exposed. This is where the enemies are coming from. Like all these guys are coming out of this one fucking termite nest. Like, okay. Is this one of the ships I'm supposed to kill? I'm just trying to get the health. Oh, that wasn't good. Probably shouldn't. Don't don't try the 911 strategy on enemy uh enemy things. Am I am I attacking like the right part of this thing? Do I attack the legs? I Don't tell me it's this. The, the whole thing is is lighting up now, I just realized. Okay, not that part, not that part. But the, cent the central part is... Destroy the anchors, then attack its heart. Then attack the heart. That's what I'm doing! I'm just, I'm looking at the thing on the map down there. Rapid fire! The voiceover can't keep up, I'm going too fast. One more. The hive's weakness will be exposed now. It says the hive's weakness will be exposed. Your arrival is approaching. Destroy it this time and his power shall be yours. Okay, but I, I feel like I'm not doing any damage to it here. Cause there there is in the okay, in the map that appears in the bottom right, there's a red health bar on it. And am, am I just, like, not shooting the right part of this? I feel like shooting this massive fucking cocoon should be damaging this. Fuck it, fly into it! No, that's... okay. The, yeah, the 9-11 strategy really doesn't... does not work at all. And that's... that's... that's point... that's... proof of concept right there. So I'm shooting this. It, there is a targeting reticule on top of it. Like, it lights up when I point at it, you guys can see that, but I feel like, I mean, I guess this is the final stage. Maybe, maybe it is supposed to be like, I'm just supposed to lay into it and just constantly shoot the hell out of it. But I feel like, I don't know, man, the fact that the health isn't going down at all on that map down there. I don't know, I don't have any confidence that I'm actually doing anything. Shoot down these these battleships, I guess. I mean, may, maybe maybe these guys are causing me problems. 
Yeah, sure, secondary objective beat. Now, if I could only shoot this giant fucking rock and... Okay, wait, the health is going down. How? How did that... How, what, what made it do that? Was that me? I've shot it an awful lot, though. Oh, man, now I don't know why it went down. I didn't see what I did that caused it to do that. I, w I wish I was paying more attention to that mini-map down there. I was too busy trying to get these fucking enemies off my ass that I couldn't see what I was shooting at. I mean, for all I know, this could have been just stray bullets just doing damage. I have shot every goddamn angle of this enemy, and I do not know. I do not know what actually hurts it. Fucking hell. How do you beat this fucking piece of shit? Just, I, I, I don't even give a shit anymore now. now I'm actually angry. Destroy the hive, you have to destroy the vines that hold it together. Target the place where the vine connects to the top of the hive. We did that. Look around. Okay, each time you destroy a vine, more flyers will come out. Look around, blah, 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 blah. Well, after you destroy the final vine, the Chrysalis Champion will show up. He's a Kadol. I don't know what that means. It's clearly a dragon. It's, it's a proper noun. He'll come right after you while some of the other creatures try to keep you occupied. Engage him, deal with him, dust more flyers, you'll be told you've got the secret objective. So, destroying the champion is the secret objective. Which, again, I don't fucking care about. It says, finish it up by destroying the hive. And it doesn't tell me what I have to do to destroy the goddamn hive. I did something to damage it, and I do not know what that, what that something was. I am legitimately... Why is this dragon so fucking slow? Just just flap your goddamn wings. You're a goddamn 80-foot dragon with a goddamn 2-inch penis. You worthless fucking piece of shit. Do I just take out this... Who's this, this fucking guy? Fuck off, buddy. His power is yours. The Wait, was that what I had to do this whole time? Was I had to I had to hit that that guy? I thought it was the secret. Who What damaged the hive originally then? Something brought its health down to two thirds. Fucking god damn it. I don't even I don't even care about the movie. I don't want to watch it. So I had to kill that guy to get his power and then that let me destroy the hive, but at some point something had already damaged it by a third. So that led me to believe that whatever I was doing was working. With the chrysalis out of the This way, is the final stage by the way. And we're almost done with this goddamn mission thing. But the problem is that the reason I kept flying around shooting at it was because A, I mistakenly believed something I did damaged it, and B, I'm getting fucked from every fucking angle, and I'm trying to see, do I have to hit a specific part of it? Oh yeah, something's going back to hell, it's this goddamn game. So wait, hang on. Oh, one of my shots must have... Okay, so the health bar that was on the map was not the health bar for the hive, it was the health bar for the guy I was supposed to kill. And at some point, I must have mistakenly hit him with the with the stray shot, because I'm shooting 15 balls at a time. Oh my god. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's what it, that's what it had to have been. Oh great, we're in the fucking nether. You know what? You know what? I'm just... This is for the previous stage. Just fuck... Okay, that, this doesn't... Yeah, that does a lot less damage than I thought swimming into fucking lava would do. It's just, this this in air combat is like pulling teeth. I, <laughs> I'm trying to fly out there and shoot this thing because it, it puts a an aiming reticule forward on my map, but I don't think it actually matters if I if I if I hit this this, this space ball thing. I mean it seems to be that like these dragons are the mission objectives here. one of the least rewarding games I've ever played. It's even got dragons in it, and I hate it. This is like the fourth time that they also, apparently, this is one of those games where you do move during a cutscene. That's great. Outstanding. <laughs> 
I think the last time I was this disappointed by something dragon related is when I went to go see Aragon in theaters. Am I supposed to be doing this? Do I fly? Oh, maybe I got. Okay. Maybe it is, and I gotta fly down in here now. What the hell is this crap? You got a flamethrower? Just mount. Okay, well, I can't blow it up, so I don't give a shit. Okay, yeah, this looks important. Is this... Do I shoot this? No, what... What? Where are you... Are you pointing me this way? So, okay, I shot the... I shot the disco balls in here. Oh, it's a spooky skull. We gotta fly into the skull. This is... Okay. If I was the core to a stupid... Burning uh, thing, I would definitely be hiding inside the spooky skull. Okay, I don't think I'm hurting that one. I, this is another situation of this game is absolutely pissing me off. Is this is that is that a target? No. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Got him. Uh, we were suddenly we're playing Half Life Two now. I think. Okay, so now we do have to kill the guy flying around. Because he is reinforcing. Oh my god! So he, so he's he's juicing it up. Kill him. You know I'm trying to kill him. Okay. Just, just, it, just give, give it a second. Give it a second. Okay. 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 We got him. We got him. His power is yours. Your own powers are complete. Last obstacle is removed. The volcano is collapsing. Oh, wait. Do we gotta get the fuck out of here? Okay, do we... Here's my dumbass shooting things. Oh, man. I was trying to shoot that central core. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we shot him. He's no longer healing it. But then I saw the lava coming up. I'm like, uh-uh. You expect me to remember what all these goddamn corridors look like as I'm flying around? Thank- oh, okay, so good. Now we're, we're back in Star Fox 64. This is the part where James McCloud flies off and his model disappears. And Peppy's like, what do you- what's- what's wrong, Fox? Yeah, no secret objectives? Good, I couldn't think of anything secret about this fucking stage either. This is it, right? That's- the, I mean, that's the ending of the first chapter. And the fact that we have, like, a proper cutscene is, you know... <laughs> this guy is dressed like he's about to suck eight dicks. Come on, man. I knew I should have killed you myself instead of sending the demons to do my dream. Luckily, I can learn from your mistake. He looks but like the guy from Oblivion. Oh. Forget his name. Really, you're gonna finish that dude off? He's cut in half. I feel like I feel like you got the upper hand there. So we did we did have a request real quick before the stream is over to uh, take a look. It's in a book and see what kinds of art uh, was in the uh, instruction manual. Unfortunately, I don't have any time left to like go back and find the secret level and stuff. It's already 20 minutes past the end of the normal end of the show. I haven't even run the credits yet. I haven't even said my goodbyes. So we've got, uh, oh yeah, you guys are right. We got Rock, which I believe is the bird. Yomar. I'm trying to see. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys were, you guys knew your, uh, are these, are these based off of like actual lore? Or did you guys look up who these characters were? Here's, a. Uh, Here's Barg. He's a big, big boy. I think we flew on him for one of the one of the levels. Got very high agility. It looks like he'd be more of a, a defense character, given the fact that he's built like a truck. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of uh, a little bit of mind seeing a little bit of Rule Thirty Four of that one. This way. There we go. I'm working with the camera delay on this one, so you gotta kind of work with it. Uh, the Griffin, Caddy Corner on the other. 
page. Uh, question marks on that one because, uh, you know, this judging by the character description, this is who you get to fly on in the, 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 the bonus level for that, that campaign, but I like to imagine they just didn't get any... Uh, they didn't get any artwork of that. Like, look at this, look at this shit. Like, this is what's on the pages that I'm not showing you. Like, who is this, who is this, this King Kong looking motherfucker right here? Is that a flying monkey? And then over here, what is this? Is that literally, is that literally Ridley? Is that who that is? And, uh, that appears to be, okay, here's, here's some battle tips from, uh, from the back of the mission. If a particular mission is giving you a hard time, try rethinking your tactics. A more or less aggressive approach might be more successful. You could not have said any less with any more words than what you just said. Thank you. I noticed that, like, you could land. Like, the game the game specifically taught us how to land. But at no point was that ever tactically a wise move. And I don't think any of the levels were built around landing and attacking. Except for maybe trying to hit the catapults on that awful tower stage savage skies i'll keep this i'll keep this short and sweet because i know we're going over time by a little bit but thank y'all for coming out savage skies maybe if i actually played this game when it was loaned to me the first time i would have known that when it arrived in the viewer mailbox i would have been like uh oh uh oh but instead you know <laughs> we get to play it it's it's rough I feel bad for what was it called? I Rock Entertainment. Yeah, they don't rock. I don't know why they call themselves that. I feel bad that this was their first and only game because with there were you know back when I said it was a good time to be a dragon fucker when stuff like this was coming out. At the same time, it was also not a good time to be a dragon fucker because stuff like this was coming out. This was awful. Reign of Fire was not very good. Uh, Aragon was... They reprinted all the books so you could get the whole series, which was fine. But the movie, they didn't make the other three, so I guess that kind of that, that kind of tells you how it went. Marley asks, was it ever fucking okay to be a dragon fucker? Yes, yes. That's all about... It's all about pride, Marley. <laughs> Are you being Dracophobic right now? Uh, but yeah, no, I agree with Tokus Rage. Credit for the concept of this game. Because it it seems cool where you get to fly around. And, and not just on dragons, but on, like, mythological beasts. It would have been nicer if they kind of explained that. Uh, because, I mean, they, they, do, they do use the phrase mythical beasts on the back. But when the selling point is dragon, and that's in the logo of the game, you, can, you probably maybe ought to get character select. And if people only want to exclusively stare at the ass of a dragon for two and a half hours when they play this game on Twitch, you gotta give them the ability to do that. Okay, I'm just saying. At the same time, different characters had different stats and abilities, so really having like a character select would have been the best way to go because then if you prefer at that first stage, it had the guy, the owl, the hippogriff, whatever it was called, uh, that had a shield. If that was your preferred method of fighting where you're more of a defensive role well then you can pick that character and you can play defensively to do your quests or if you want to be like me and just shoot sparkles out of your ass at the the beehive on the final stage as you try to figure out why you can't damage it if you just want to be all out offensive you should be able to have the option to do that i think forcing people to pick certain characters it goes against the what the style in, in which you would want to play a game like that i don't know i, I that, that didn't rub me the right way i i, I don't know I don't know what my buddy saw in this game when he played it all those years ago, and maybe maybe I'm exaggerating in s suggesting he played it all the time. It just seemed like he played it a lot when we were hanging out, and he always like had the case was like you know just kind of cracked open, sitting on top of his PS2, meaning that the game was in the PS2. So I just figured he was playing it, and like I said, he let me borrow it. I remember we we talked about it. He knew I liked dragons. He knew I liked dragons, with throw the quotes around that one. He knew both, okay? He knew both sides of that coin. Was that friend of mine also a dragon fucker? And the funny thing is, he was not. I was the weirdo out of the two of us. So, there you go. <laughs> now he's got a Savage Skies tattoo. God for his sake, I hope he doesn't. That'd be, uh, that'd be, that'd be really 
it'd be one of those life regrets. Fanjamon, thank you for sending in the game. I, I feel like completing the first campaign will kind of be its own standalone video on, on YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, with the, uh, the, you know, I feel like the rest of the game is going to be more of the same. So I, I, I think we've seen all that Savage Skies has to offer. I want to thank y'all for coming out tonight. Like, it's, like I always say, there's a lot of things you can do on a Friday night. The fact that you spend it here with me uh, means a lot to me. So I had a great time. All things considered, we got the stairs, some dragon butts, and that's a win in my book, uh, any way you slice it. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gatorbox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.